Hey guys, new tool here, copy paste for 3ds Max. This tool lets you copy and paste objects, modifiers, and materials across multiple instances of 3ds Max, also supporting uh, teams of people sharing those assets across a network. So to get started, we have the tool open here in both instances. We'll select the objects here and we'll select this button. What that does is it makes a copy based on what is selected. So this is kind of like a copy slot, we'll say. But let's just say, for example, we wanted to copy just these two. We'll go ahead and isolate them because the screenshot takes uh, whatever is visible in the current viewport. So we'll create another copy, which is just these two objects that have a shader. You can see the other instance of Max, the tool updates in real time. Uh, what we'll also do is make a copy of just this uh, blade of grass, what we see there. And then lastly, we'll get just uh, this box here, which has a turbo smooth applied to it. So you'll see this one has a couple modifiers. This one has just turbo smooth. And we see over here, it shows us the file size. Uh, if you want to uh, go ahead and paste the object, we'll go to our other instance of Max and you can click on the thumbnail and that will bring those objects directly into the scene. Optionally, you can click this paste option which will then give you the ability to specify what you want to paste. The objects, the materials, the modifiers. So let's select these guys and go ahead and paste the modifiers from our grass blade. And you'll see those all now have the modifiers that were brought in from this guy. Now, if we wanted to bring in the turbo smooth from the box and apply it to them, we could also do that as well. Uh, and now you'll see there's a turbo smooth. That's instance across the current selection. So very powerful there. Um, what we could do if we wanted is now uh, recopy and override this buffer with this selection. Go back here, delete this, and we could bring those back into this file. We'll go ahead and just do auto rename, and there you go. Now for materials, the way that works, you don't have to have anything selected. You just go in here and say paste materials, and it brings them into your into your material browser inside of 3ds max so that takes a second here to open and now you can see both those materials are stuck into its own uh, its own panel here which is easy for you to figure out where you want to apply them um, what in this case we'll just go ahead and select these guys assign the shader select this one and assign it and now we have the shaders from this max file over here on the left in the file on the right now, if you do want to make these copy buffers shared across the network, you can go into your settings dialog and choose a location shared on the network. Um, you also have the ability to adjust your thumbnail sizes here if you want them to be larger or smaller. Um, and then if you want to get rid of a buffer, you can just hit this and that goes uh, and removes that from disk so you no longer have that being used up. Or you can click this and that will remove all the buffers at once. And that's pretty much the copy-paste tool. Let me know if you have any feedback. Thank you guys for your support.